I'm not gonna need those morning rides anymore to go over details. Oh, I've been working on it for so long now. Coming here has just become part of my morning routine. I guess I'll just keep coming for the free coffee. Well, if you do, you're gonna have to find another route because uh, Matthew's already talking about moving. Yeah, I mean, things are gonna change. Change is good. I mean, that new car of yours. Oof. Yeah, I mean, you got that right. Oh. Bill? Hmm? <laughs> Have a good time last night? What? Did you have a good time last night? Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? A little dizzy. Mm -hmm. A little tired. And very, very angry. Oh, well, that's because the flashbacks you're experiencing are dredging up some long buried emotions that may be coloring your conscious mind. I'm gonna kill both of you in the most painful way possible. Things will go a lot faster if you just relax. Whenever you're ready. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I think the problem is? That I can't strangle you? <laughs> you're fighting the process. In the end, all you're really doing is delaying the inevitable. Why don't we try and keep an open mind? Hmm? <laughs> don't you know a sterile workplace when you see one? Some people! Jeez! Sorry, Father. You know who I am? Can we just stipulate that I ask and you answer? The basement? What happened? There was a, a, a dog. Can I ask uh, Before that. What happened before you saw the dog? Nothing. I was on my way to the maintenance office. You didn't touch anything? Come into contact with anything strange? Something dripped on me from an overhead pipe. Something dark and sticky. I mean, it wasn't oil exactly or tar, but... Was this... What dripped on you? I've never known anyone called Lieutenant Colonel before. What does it mean? It's not his name, you simpleton. It's rank. My apologies. It's obvious to anyone with eyes to see that you're a military man. Which makes me wonder, why is it you question the actions of my father's soldiers? I guess I just don't think whipping people is a good motivator. The villagers are mindless brutes. They understand nothing else. Maybe because they've never known anything else. I don't think that any of us would deny that the life of peasants can be difficult. Where do they come from? The Lord Protector calls them forth with his mind. But from where? I mean, they rise up from the ground, but has anybody bothered to go down there and check it out? <laughs> 